Now that we have some conventions for specifying these angular quantities, we can explore the formulas for angular kinematics. The angular quantities have direct analogs with the linear quantities. Angular displacement acts mathematically just like linear displacement. Angular velocity mathematically acts just like linear velocity. Angular acceleration acts mathematically just like linear acceleration. So we can develop very similar equations in the case of constant angular acceleration, just as we developed for the case of constant linear acceleration. So here we're specifying constant angular acceleration. Also, we have to specify that the direction of the angular acceleration is parallel to the direction of the angular velocity. So it's speeding up or slowing down, but it's not changing the axis. The first kinematic equation we encounter is that the angular velocity at any time is the starting angular velocity plus the constant acceleration times the time elapsed. The angular displacement is the starting angular displacement plus the starting angular velocity times time plus one half angular acceleration times the square of the time. Those are the two basic equations. Then we can develop some other equations out of this. Square of the angular velocity at any time is equal to the square of the starting angular velocity plus two times the acceleration times the angular displacement. Notice that these are quite similar, directly analogous in fact, to the linear kinematic formulas that we're already familiar with.